If you aren't already using ChatGPT's new custom instructions feature, by the end of this video, you definitely will be. ChatGPT's custom instruction feature allows you to change your old boring responses with little to no information or help on your subject to responses that provide resources, links, follow-up questions, tables, and everything you need in order to become a master of any subject. Now this is of course only if you use custom instructions in the right way. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to activate those custom instructions. I'm going to show you the best framework for making your own custom instructions so you can create your own personas and have custom outputs with ChatGPT very easily. I'm going to give you a template that I use. It's been very nice. It has actually helped me create over 300 different personas that I will show you later in this video. Now let's get into it. So here we are in ChatGPT, and I do believe you have to have ChatGPT4 in order to use this new feature. But in order to get it activated, open up your sidebar, head down to these three dots in the bottom left-hand corner, and now you will see a new tab for custom instructions once you select those three dots. So what you can do is you can click into custom instructions, and as you can see, there are these two big brand new boxes. If you want to edit the information within these boxes, what you have to do is enable this in the bottom left-hand corner of this pop-up. And now you have the ability to click in here and start typing. The first question ChatGPT asks is what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And then if you click into this box, you can see some thought starters on some questions you can answer in order to tailor ChatGPT to your situation. So where are you based? What do you do for work? What are your hobbies and interests? What subjects can you talk about for hours? And what are some goals you have? So these are just thought starter questions. You can really type in whatever you want in order for ChatGPT to either talk like you or get to know a little bit more about you so its responses are much more tailored to your situation. And then the next section here, we have how would you like ChatGPT to respond? Once again, when we click in this box, we can see some thought starters. How formal or casual should ChatGPT be? How long or short should responses be? How do you want to be addressed? Should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or remain neutral? So here you can kind of manipulate the output of ChatGPT and how the words are actually being said. As you can see, I have all of these different key points in here that I think are very important to answer when using custom instructions. And I will leave these in the description. As you can see, we have profession role. So what is your profession slash role? Key responsibilities, knowledge, typical challenges, current projects, jargon, goals, and interactions. So these are all things that you're going to experience on a daily basis. You know, what are your key responsibilities? What terms are you using? What are your goals, some of your current projects? This will get ChatGPT up to date on your current situation so that when you are getting outputs from ChatGPT, those responses seem like they're actually coming from you. And it can help you better understand your projects or other things you're dealing with if it knows more about you right from the start. And then for how would you like ChatGPT to respond, I also have all of these canned sections here and things I just like to answer. So tone and formality. How do you want ChatGPT to respond? Do you want it to be casual, creative, innovative? Uh, however that may be, uh, that's what you're going to put there. Level of detail, preferred references, examples or analogies, avoidance of ambiguity, resource links, promptness, collaborative approach, follow-up questions, tables, and problem-solving method. So I do have a lot of information in here that needs filled out, but this is what's really going to start making your chat GPT responses 10 times better. So if you want, you can go down there, copy those and paste them into your chat GPT and create your own persona or custom instructions for chat GPT. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to dive into some of the personas that I have created using this setup. And I'm going to compare and contrast using custom instructions versus not using custom instructions. So let's dive in. So as you can see, I've created this beautiful Notion template with 300 different custom personas. So there is a persona for all sorts of different categories. As you can see, I have 30 different marketing personas, business personas, writing personas, and the list goes on. I have finance, technology, fitness, development, education, creative arts, entertainment, and then I created my own personal category after all of these were said and done. But basically what I do is whenever I need something done or I want an answer on a question or I wanna research a subject, I'll go to one of these expert personas. And this really turns ChatGPT into an expert in the field. So if I want to develop an awesome yoga routine, maybe I'll head over to fitness and I will click the yoga instructor persona 
And all of these in here are pre-filled out, so I can copy them to my clipboard, I can come into the custom instructions tab in ChatGPT, and I can paste them right in. And now ChatGPT is a professional yoga instructor. I can even do it for how would you like ChatGPT to respond. I can come in here, I can paste it in. And just like that, ChatGPT is now thinking like a professional yoga instructor, and it will give me much better responses when I'm trying to develop a yoga routine. Let's say I need some help on my taxes or some ideas I can work with on my taxes. I could come over here to the finance tab, hit tax consultant, then I can copy and paste these into the custom instructions for ChatGPT. Now I'm actually selling the 300 personas within a Notion template. So you can use Notion for completely free and you can purchase this template using the link in the top pinned comment or by going and looking for it in the description below. Now let's continue and get into actually utilizing these custom instructions to their maximum potential. So as you can see, I have this yoga instructor profession all in here and it has all of the information already filled out for me. I loved making this template because now I just have 300 different professions that I can put into ChatGPT, and ChatGPT will become an expert on 300 different professions and situations. But now that I have this all filled out, what I can do is I can hit save, and since I've already saved it, the green button is not appearing, and then I can click off in some empty space. Now ChatGPT is thinking like a professional yoga instructor. So maybe I can type in something like, design me a full body morning yoga routine. I want this routine to be 30 minutes. So now I can send this off and this is with custom instructions enabled. So after this, we will disable them and send off the same prompt and see how it compares. I'm going to send this off. So now we have this nice morning routine, some nice headers. We have the description for each pose. You know, what is this actually doing for us and how do we actually complete this pose? And then this is what I really like about using custom instructions. Is you can ask it to give you references and ask for follow-up questions in order to better this morning yoga routine. So as you can see, it says to access more detailed poses and sequences, you might wanna visit yoga platforms like Yoga Journal and use meditation apps like Insight Timer. So it's giving us all of these resources now that we can use because we use the custom instructions. It's also asking us follow-up questions. Would you like more guidance on any specific area such as improving flexibility or mental well-being? So maybe that's something we need to dive a little deeper into. Now let's turn off custom instructions and send off the exact same prompt to see how it compares. I'm going to copy this with control C, open up my sidebar. I'm gonna head over to custom instructions and turn this off and hit save. So now they are no longer being activated and I can start a new chat in GPT-4 and send off that same prompt here. And as you can see, it's very straightforward and to the point, and it doesn't really go too in depth. The follow-up questions are gone, the emojis are gone, the references and resources are gone, so it's not giving us yoga apps that we can use or websites we can go to in order to help us improve our yoga. And it's also not asking us the follow-up questions as it did in the previous prompt either. So this is with using custom instructions. It gives us nice headers. For each pose, it gives us a duration. It gives us how to do it. You know, it gives us a description of that pose and it doesn't only tell us how to do it, but it gives us the purpose of why we are doing it. So it doesn't only tell us how, but it tells us why. It lays this out in a much nicer format. We have big headers, separated out sections. We have standing poses, seated poses for 10 minutes. And then again, on the one where we use the custom instructions, it's giving us platforms we can go to, Yoga Journal, it's giving us apps like Insight Timer, and it's asking us follow-up questions. This is definitely helpful, especially for new ChatGPT users when it comes to prompting. And then when we go over to the one where we didn't use custom instructions and use the exact same prompt, it's not giving us the purpose of why we are doing it, it's just telling us how to do it. And for some of them, it doesn't even tell us how to do it. As you can see, it says sun salutations, perform three to four rounds to warm up your body. We don't know how to do this, but when we used custom instructions, it gave us a description, a purpose and duration for each one. I wanted to use that yoga instructor example because I believe it provided a nice all around showing of custom instructions and how when you enable them, the responses are much better. It really takes prompt engineering and ChatGPT to a whole new level because you can type it in once how you want ChatGPT to respond and then all your prompts following can be much shorter, much more concise and you can get things done much quicker. Let me show you another example using a custom persona that I created. Maybe I could use this growth hacker persona for example. 
As you can see, their key responsibilities are to implement creative, unconventional strategies to grow an audience. So this could be very useful for me. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard, head over to ChatGPT, open up my sidebar, and I'm going to head back down to custom instructions. I'm going to actually enable them. Then I'm going to delete all of that and paste in my new growth hacker profession. Now I'm going to head back over to this page, copy the how would you like ChatGPT to respond section and paste it in after I delete all of that right there. So now just like that, we have interchanged out a yoga instructor to a growth hacker in a matter of seconds and ChatGPT will completely change its response to talk like a growth hacker. I'm going to hit save and now I can type off my prompt. So maybe I actually want to grow my LinkedIn from my YouTube audience. I typed out this prompt. I want to push my YouTube audience to my LinkedIn. What are some ways I can do that subtly? And then I can send that off. And now it will give me unique ways to do that because it's in this new growth hacker custom instruction mode. Right off the bat, it's giving me strategy and then it dives into the why. That's what I love most about these custom instructions, I think, is it dives into the why of everything. It doesn't only just tell you what to do, it tells you why you should be doing that. And take a look at this. It's even giving me an action plan that I didn't ask for with a step-by-step -step table and different resources I can use with a time frame. And then once again, it's asking a follow-up question in order to get the most out of this conversation. It says, would you like to dive deeper into any of these strategies? Feel free to ask. And this is just amazing how it provides certain resources and tools we can use, timeframes, a whole action plan table that we didn't even ask for. This is very, very helpful. Now let's send off the same prompt without using the custom instructions. I'm going to hit new chat. I'm going to go turn off these custom instructions and paste it in here. Now I'm going to send that off. Same prompt, no custom instructions enabled. Let's see how it does. As you can see, once again, it's just telling us what to do. It's giving us things we can do, which is great, but it's not telling us why it works and it's not laying it out in that nice format. It's just basically telling us all of these things we need to implement and uh, no table was provided, no tools were provided, no resources, no follow-up questions. So it's hard to continue to grow, continue to chat with the thread and learn more about your situation when there's no follow-up questions being asked and when there's not much information to pull from. So this was without using the custom instructions for YouTube to LinkedIn strategies. And this is with using custom instructions. It gives us this nice layout with strategy, why it works, strategy, why it works. And I love the look of this a lot more as well. So whether you want to create your own custom instructions to have ChatGPT mock yourself or create other professions and personas so ChatGPT can be an expert in that field, this new feature is changing the game for ChatGPT. So if you want to start creating your own persona, I recommend going down to the description below and grabbing all of those bullet points for both sections that I provided down there. Also, if my 300 persona package for ChatGPT interests you at all, I will leave a link to that in the top pinned comment or the description below as well. I recommend you try this out. It makes ChatGPT much easier to use. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.